Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Design Laboratory. In this tutorial, we will learn how to remember the IC number of basic gates and universal gates that are used for the implementation of different circuits of digital design. So it is very useful for us and very important for us to remember the IC number because for any implementation like for example if I am interested to implement a half header then the expression for sum is a xor b and for carry the expression is a dot b. So for the implementation of a xor b we need xor gate and for the implementation of carry there is a requirement of end gate. So we must know that what is the IC that is used for AND operation and what is the IC that is used for XOR operation. So here in next few minutes we will learn the IC number of different basic gates. So let's start. These are some numbers and our topic is or we will discuss how to remember these pin numbers. So first of all that we all know that the universal gates are NAND and NOR. So I am starting with NAND gate my first universal gate that is NAND and the second universal gate is NOR. Then my basic gate that I am considering that is NOT that is inverter. Clear? So first I have considered universal gate NAND so that you have to just remember that we are starting with NAND then uh, second universal gate that is NOR then inverter now complement this NAND that is AND complement this NOR that is OR then the remaining two gates that are XOR and x nor clear so this is only a trick that how to remember pin number this is not a universal condition or case or not an, uh, or not specified at a universal level that you have to consider or you have to start with nand only so this is my trick and i am just explaining it to, to you all now first consider universal gates that is nand and nor and in this first consider NAND then consider uh, inverter that is NOT then complement this NAND that is that will be AND and complement of this NOR is OR and the remaining two XOR and XNOR so we all know about these uh, basic gates now start how to remember or how to write the, their pin number so start NAND so as we all know that uh, for 74 series there are four gates inside an IC number so for NAND gate IC 7400 so we will start it uh, from 7400 now 740 just add 2 clear next 740 again add 2 that is 04 now 7 4 multiply this 2 and 4 so that is 7 4 0 8 then 7 4 multiply this 4 and 8 that is 7 4 3 2 now pause then next for XOR just remember 7 4 8 6 and for XNOR 7 4 break this 8 into 2 into 6 so 2 and 6 and write this 6 as it is clear so just uh, see once again start with 7400 add 2 7402 then again add 2 7404 then multiply this 2 and 4 7408 then multiply this 4 and 8 that is 32 then 7486 and 74266 okay so 
what is this 7400 is for nand gate so this is nand gate this is nor gate this is not gate this is and the complement of and this is or this is xor and this is xnor so by this simple trick you can remember uh, the ic number of your basic logic gates that are used for the implementation of any digital design clear so this is uh, all about the the digital ic pin number or their ic number thanks for watching this thank you